Hi everyone, Jenny from A Hero's Home here bringing you another recipe to stretch your military money even further and uh, feed your family healthy and nutritious ingredients in the process. Um, today we're going to make a, a very flavorful and wonderful fish recipe and um, we all know the benefits of serving fish to our families, uh, the omega Th uh, three fatty acids, um, the low fat content helps the cholesterol, all those benefits that you get from serving fish. Um, if your family is like mine though, it's hard to find a recipe that everybody enjoys. And this is one of them that um, everybody does enjoy in my house, so I hope they will enjoy it in yours as well. Uh, this recipe that I can send to you does call for tilapia. Um, we chose flounder. One of the reasons for that is recently at our commissary, CPAC was having a sale on flounder, so I went ahead and picked something that, um, up at my you know, two-week grocery shopping trip and uh, decided to make this recipe. You can uh, choose to make this recipe um, on the grill. You can broil it, you can bake it, it's very versatile. I will tell you, you can also uh, use it for fish tacos. Uh, we're going to make it as fish fillets and serve it over uh, rice uh, with a vegetable uh, today. So the first thing we're gonna do is, um, the recipe calls for um, uh, extra virgin olive oil. They want you to add half of, or I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Um, and then after that, a couple of uh, tablespoons of um, distilled vinegar, white vinegar. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, it also calls for um, fresh lime juice, which I went ahead and squeezed uh, before I started filming. And they also wanted you to zest the lime, so make sure that you zest the lime before you cut it in half to uh, get the juice out because it makes it a little bit more challenging if you try to zest half of a lime. So I'll go ahead and add that um, zest and lime juice at the same time here. Um, the other thing uh, they ask you to add is a one and a half uh, teaspoons of honey. And this little bear here reminds me to um, give you a tip, which is, you know, when you're looking for um, prices either in the commissary or community grocery stores, anywhere for that matter, um, marketing wants you to look directly in front of you um, and pick what you see first. Make sure that you look above and below the middle shelf um, and compare prices. Um, the honey that was on the top shelf at our commissary um, ran in the gamut of, you know, two dollars and some odd change. Um, and then there actually was some other items in the middle shelf and then below it on the third shelf down was my little bear friend here um, and he was significantly cheaper than um, just choosing the first honey that I spotted um, out of the corner of my eye. So we're going to add um, my measuring spoon here, one and a half teaspoons of honey. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is um, some fresh garlic. And to buy a head of garlic um, at the commissary is like 10 cents for the whole head. And you can get many, many recipes out of that one head of garlic. So it's obviously much cheaper than buying the minced garlic already um, in a jar and much healthier too because you're getting the fresh garlic and the nutrients um, and health benefits from it being fresh right then as well as no um, additives or you know um, solutions that it's sitting in while it's in that jar. So we're going to take um, our our clove here. I think pretty much any home store will sell a garlic press nowadays. So you don't have to go to specialty stores anymore, specialty cooking stores. So we'll put that in there. Easy as that. And then the next thing we're going to add is um, uh, one and a half teaspoons of ground, oh, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon. Sorry about that. Half a teaspoon of um, ground cumin. And uh, one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. And of course, you find all these in the seasoning aisle of your commissary. Or Um, and half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, 
And I do believe that is it. We're going to whisk this up real quick. Just open my fish here. And what you want to do is um, place your fish in the Ziploc bag, pour your seasoning in there, squeeze out as much air as you possibly can, and stick it in your free or on fridge, not freezer, fridge for um, recipe says six to eight hours. Um, if you're pressed for time, four would probably do you. Okay. I'm going to pour my... Having one of these batter type bowls is great because you can just pour it right in there and have to worry about it spilling. All right. Smells when I wish I had smell of vision. It smells wonderful. Okay, nice and fresh. Okay, so I'm just going to work that all into my fish. Like I said, try to squeeze out as much air as possible. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to stick it into the fridge for uh, anywhere from four to eight hours, depending on your time frame. Then what I'm going to do is well grease a um, with olive oil a broiling pan. I'm going to put it in the broiler, four minutes for each side. Then I'm going to um, cook up some brown rice and serve it with a vegetable. Of course, as always, I will include a picture for you to see. And um, I hope you enjoy this recipe as well. If you go to um, www.aheroeshome, A-H-E-R-O-S-H-O-M-E.com, there's the little buttons that you all recognize at the top right corner of the website for Facebook, email, RSS feed, um, anything you could possibly think of uh, where you can contact me for this recipe and I'll be happy to send it to you so you can enjoy it with your family. Well, thank well. you for watching today. We want to say bless our troops and their families. We feel privileged to stand among you. We hope you have a fabulous evening. Bye everybody.